Hi guys, welcome back to today's episode. I'm so sorry it's taken a bit longer than usual because this chandelier has driven me nuts. It has been quite difficult because the wires have broken a few times and I've had to fix them again. So um, if you are going to copy my project, please, please, please be careful with the wire lights because they are so delicate and the slightest... Uh, <laughs> sort of over pressing um, and over compressing will break the wire so just bear that in mind anyway without further ado let's get started and we're starting by making a lamp to make a nice standing lamp um, i'm going to use just a dowel that i've shaped with a <laughs> a carving knife over here just a normal um normal pen knife and I've just sort of cut out dents in there just to make it look like it's notched. And I've used some Sculpey to make a base for my actual lamp. So this will go in there. And for the, the shade, the lamp shade, I'm going to use one of these little lids which come from a drinks bottle. So I'm just going to go and bake the little Sculpey and then I will be ready to sort of put it all together. So here we are with the base and the main sort of section of the lamp and I am quite pleased with the colouring because it's quite similar to the wood. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, also I've got the ceiling rose I've made which um, I thought would look nice above the chandelier. So it's just a small ceiling rose and I've just added a little bit of detail as you can see. So um, yeah, so that's, that's all been baked and that's ready to go. how it's going to look. I've just got a little lamp shade which I've made using um, the lid that I showed you and I've just wrapped some tulle around it. I will show you how I've put it all together afterwards. First I want to show you how I've made the chandelier because I'm not gluing anything in at the moment. I do need to keep the room empty just so that I can work on the chandelier first. So let's get on with making the chandelier. If you remember right at the beginning before we started I had collected up some of the lights and um, I just twisted some of the wire from the wire lights and just sort of separated them into sections like this. What I'm going to do now is actually um, fold the lights just below where the actual, um, sorry fold the wire just below where the actual lights are just because I want them spread out in that, in that sort of way. And I'm going to use a little bit of sort of beads and things like that, which you've seen me use in the past. They're like little, little jewelry findings and you could even use sequins to make yours a little bit brighter. Um, I'm just showing you a few examples, but um, I'm going to use this and I'm going to use small glass faceted beads, which I'll show you in a little minute. Um, and I'm just going to thread that through the wire. Now I just wanted to say I've twisted the wire but I want you to be really really careful because what will happen is the small beads can get caught and you can cause yourself a lot of problems if your wire breaks because it's very delicate wire so please bear that in mind. Here are the glass beads I was telling you about so I've got quite a collection here. I've started by threading them through on top of the little metal bead above the lights just to sort of add a little bit of um, glimmer and glamour to the chandelier. It's already looking quite pretty so I'm going to carry on and do that with all of the arms of the chandelier and see how it looks. started folding over the top part of the wire just so that it's a bit neater and obviously I don't want my arms being that long so I've just folded them over but I've still got to be very careful because this wire is so delicate. 
now that I've done that, I'm now looking to add some structure to the chandelier. So I'm going to use these wires and uh, they're just going to give the actual chandelier some shape and some structure so that the wires don't bounce around everywhere. So what I've done here is I've cut even pieces of the thicker wire and the thinner wire and I've laid the thicker wire across the, um, the light wire lights and I've just used the thinner wire to go around and just hold it in place. So if you can just see what I've done here, I mean, it's easier to show you rather than to actually explain it. This will allow me to shape and mould the chandelier into the positions that I want it to be in. Okay, so it does look like a bit of a mess <laughs> at the moment, but it won't. I just wanted to show you that it's starting to look a little bit more shapely and um i've created little loops at the bottom here i don't know if you can see them very well let me see if you can zoom in okay that's a bit of a better example look so those little loops i'm going to hang a few crystals from to make it look a bit more like a lamp um like a chandelier and yeah it'll take shape as we go I'm going to bend the shape of the wires a little bit more now so that we've got a bit more of a shapely, um, shapely figure. Okay. Now I started um, bending, bending the arms a little bit so that the wire is going in a little bit S shape. I don't know if you can make it out. I think I'll move one out of the way, but. So it's got that point at the bottom, the straight bit, and then it goes up at the end. Um, so there's going to be a lot of manoeuvring going on, but I have to also bear in mind that I don't want to damage the wire with the lights on, because I've already gone and done that, and I've had to refix it back together again, you'll see here. So just be very careful you don't damage the wire as you're doing it. So you have to be very delicate and it's painstakingly slow, so I'm only going to take glimpses of the progress of the chandelier, but it is coming together, so I'm quite happy with how it's turning out. Okay, so I've started threading some beads onto the wire. I've got my wire here, and I've started threading on some beads, which I'm going to sort of um, cut into sections so you can see there's a section there and it's just going to go all the way along um, actually that's not right that's got to go up um, but you get what I mean don't you so there's going to be small sections of beads which I will cut up and then the little bits that I created here those little loops at the bottom I'm going to hook those uh, extra beads onto the bottom of those so it looks a bit like a dangling part of the chandelier now be very careful when you're working with the chandelier because unfortunately I managed to break the wire um, and it does <laughs> it does light up a little bit but only half of it does so I need to fix that wire and thankfully um, I know how to do it so I will show you that when I'm going to do it but at the moment all I'm concerned about is threading on my beads and then once I fix the wire, I don't want to have to handle it too much after that. So um, that's going to be the next bit that I need to work on. So yeah, let's let's uh, let's work on these beads first. Once I've threaded them, I've just chopped them down to size so I can fold the um, the ends, with the wires around, and uh, just secure them so that when I attach it to the chandelier. It should look a little bit more sort of, you know, free, free falling rather than um, glued on, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I want them to dangle rather than just look stuck on. So hopefully that will work out. I'm going to do that now. I've created a base out of some polymer clay and, um, you know, just just a little piece to 
attach the wire to. So, um, you know, there was no other way of really doing that. I couldn't do that with wire without it looking messy. So I thought polymer clay would be the next best thing. So I'm going to glue that to the chandelier once this has been baked. Okay, so I've just glued that little bit that I'd made earlier. Um, remember it had a little section missing there, but that's okay. I can fill that up and with maybe with some blue tack or some clay or something. And that will, um, you know, that, you, you won't see that. And I might even face it the other way, so you can't see it anyway. <laughs> but uh, that was the only way I could really do that. Um, the other thing I've done is just, I'm just using a lid to rest the bottom of the um, chandelier on just so I can even it all out and space everything out. I've also gone and stuck this kind of really shiny, lovely little, they're like beads, I don't know what they are, they're like like string beads um, and I think they, they, I found them somewhere probably or I can't remember where I bought them. I think it's like a chain, a bead chain. It's just plastic. But um, I thought it would come in useful. It's probably from, from the hobby store. I can't even remember where I got it. I either found it, <laughs> I, I really don't remember. Anyway, so it's been in my hobby drawer for ages and now I finally have a use for it. So I'm gonna use it around the chandelier like that and it'll act as a little sort of, like a connector between all the rungs. So I've just glued that down. And then I'm going to use this blue tack here to just sort of make a little base bit here. Um, I was going to use this little thing that I've made, but it's too rigid and it didn't look right on the bottom of that because it didn't meet uh, the, the bottom section there. So a bit difficult to explain what I'm doing, but um, I am just going to sort of push it around the gaps here just to make it look a little bit more even and to give it a bit more structure to hold it together. Okay, I've glued on some more beads and I've managed to fix the light the bit that was broken. So see these little beads here on the ends? Just glued those on and it looks a bit strange at the moment. I have painted that middle bit but I'm not that happy with the colour, it's a lot darker than the rest of it, but uh, do you know what, I'm just going to sort of go with it for the moment. Um, I've threaded on this little thing that I'd made earlier, the little ceiling rose thing, and I am now going to try and um, create the top part, so I need to thread that through the ceiling, so I've made a hole just where I want the, 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 the chandelier to be and I'm going to thread that through now and see what it looks like. I've threaded it through the hole and I've put um, a little bit of tape here just to stop it from falling through, that's just a temporary measure. Um, I'm just going to show you inside. So okay. Remove that now. And, oh, on. So you can see that it's going to be that kind of thing there. I've got to stick that ceiling rose down when I'm happy with it. And um, I can adjust it if I need to. But uh, no, I mean, I'm fairly happy with that. I think it's quite a nice little chandelier. It just needs bending into shape a little bit. Mm poking around a little bit, bit with it, but um, but generally, I think it's looking pretty good. So I've turned it upside down and I've just marked a line where I'm going to sort of um, <clears throat> create sort of a groove so that this wire here can be tucked into the groove. Um, 
I'll show you the tool that I'm going to use. I have a couple of these sort of um, carving tools and if you look at the ends, I don't know if you can see them there, but I've got a slight angle on this one here, see? And this one's completely flat, more like a knife. So I'm gonna score it using my ruler and then um, hopefully it should create just a small groove so I can hide the wire in there. And then once I've glued the wire in and it's all hidden away, I can then um, fill the crack in by using a, a, a bit of polyfiller and then repainting the ceiling again. So hopefully that works and I'll show you the result in a sec. Right, so after feeding it through and I've created the groove, um, I've started, I, I've had to fix a bit of the wire there again because unfortunately there was an LED right there and I needed to remove it. So um, I've separated it and I've just soldered it back together and I've just stuck this down so that when I do put a little bit of glue in there it will stay and hold it for a little while at least. I've got a feeling that I'm going to need to build like a little trench or something over it because I don't think I'm going to be able to cover it with polyfiller. Um, so I think the alternative will be just to build another false ceiling over the top um, in the form of a panel. So yeah, let me let me decide what I'm going to do with that and I will then go forward with that. But at the moment that's how it's looking and I'm just going to glue that into place and then check that it actually sits on top. In fact, I'll check that now and check that it actually sits on top of there properly. It should be okay once it's all lined up. I think at the moment I'm just, I've just plonked it there, but you can see that it's, um, that's how it's going to look and you can see underneath. Okay, so that's it. And here it is, the finished little chandelier. I will continue with the rest of the build in the next episode, but for now I just wanted to show you the chandelier. I'm quite happy with how it's turned out, it just needed a little bit more light to make it brighter, but apart from that I'm quite happy with it. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time.